Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to JP Jumbo Online Mathematics. Today, we are going to look at another area in fraction, decimal fraction to miss number. We want to see how we can change decimal fraction to a miss number. Now, to do that, the first thing that will come to your mind is to put it first. Meaning, the first thing we have to do first, put this decimal fraction to uh, put it to. Remember, I taught you how to put to improper fraction. Put it first to improper fraction. From there, you can change. You can change to a missed number. First, put it to improper fraction. From there, you can change to what? A missed number. Right? right. From what we have here, they say we should put it to a missed number. Now, let me look at the first one there. We have it 2.5. Now, to put there, to put it to a missed number, first, put it to improper fraction. Put it to improper fraction. I will move this one only once. Because 25 times 10 is 4 minus 1. And uh, at the end, we are going to be having 25 times 10. That 1 over 10, I mean. 1 over 10. Not 1 over 10. Yes, 1 over 10. Make this 1 over 1. The times, you have 25 over 10. The times. Now, we can, I think we can reduce this very one. 5 here is uh, 5. 5 here is 2. This one, I can see now. I told you earlier that the first thing you do when you are changing decimal fraction to uh, miss number, you have to resolve it to improper fraction. So you can see now this one is improper. Now to resolve this one, become what? Two people share five, and we have it two number one over two. Therefore, this one is not a miss number now. We already changed it. Shall look at the other one, which is uh, question B. Let us look at question B. One for one, one, two, five. Now let us see. We move this one three times, three times. Become one, one, two, five. Times 10 is for minus, minus 3. Now, doing this one, I become 1, 1, 2, 5. 1, 1, 2, 5. Times 10 is for, that is, they become what? Times 1 is for 10 for 3. Now, solving this one now, we have to solve this one here. This one here, we have to resolve it here. I think we have it there. 1, 1, 1, 2, 5. Times, that is, uh, when we times 6, I think we'll be having one over 1,000. Yes, when we type that, we'll be having 1,000. Now we have to just solve this one now using 5. Type it to 11. 5 to 11 is a, is a 5. There's only 2. We have it 2. Remaining 1. It to that 11, remaining 1. Now one, put it here, become 1, 2, 5. 5 to 1, 2, 5 is 25. Therefore, if 5 enter 1, 1, 2, 5, it's going to be 2, 2, 5. Now 5 enter here, we have it 200. 5 enter here again, 5 to 22. Is a uh, four remaining one that remaining two that two here put it in before 25. Five to 25 is five. Okay, therefore we're having 45 over what five here is a uh, 40. I think it's 40. Now reducing this one now, I think something can go five to 45 is a uh, five to 45. I think okay, yes, yes, five can go five can go five to 45. I think we are going to be having a uh, let me do this one where. 5 to 45, we are going to be having 9. 5 year is going to be, 5 year is going to be, uh, I think we'll be having uh, 8. Yes, therefore, this one is what? You can see what I was talking about just now. I said, first, resolve it to, resolve it to uh, a, a improper fraction from there, you can push to a base number. Now, if we sharing 9 is 1, 1 over 1 over 8. Therefore, this is a base number. Why? The one we have earlier was decimal. Fraction. Now we have changed it now. The first thing you do is to change it first to improper fraction, after which you resolve it to a missed number. I think at this point we can end our class. Thank you very much for staying with me in this class. Please, we have a lot to learn. Our next class will be work problem. Our ne next class is going to be work problem on fraction. Work problem on fraction. Thank you for staying with me. God bless you.